Hi, I'm Annie. Welcome back to my studio. Today I want to show you needle felting with the machine embellisher. Um, I first was introduced to this technique when I was um, doing City and Gills down in Washington State with Gail Hawker. And uh, it's become one of my processes that I use um, to add another layer, another dimension to my work. Um, as the pieces evolve, I may use it or not. So it's not a standalone technique. I use it to um, add depth and more layers to my pieces. So I'd like to show you a few of my pieces um, just to show you what you can do with this technique and then we'll get into the how-to. Here's a piece uh, felt at the back, uh, a linen piece of fabric on top. It's a, it's a, a very open weave and then some hand stitching on top of that. And then I use the embellisher to push color through back and forth, which we'll get into later. Another piece here is um, a linen piece that was uh, deconstructive screen printed, and then pieces of felt laid on, and then needle felted, pushed into the linen to soften it. And a third piece, again, the open linen weave, which was painted with acrylic. A piece of felt from behind was pushed through to soften the colour, and then some threads embellished from the front. And then lastly, this was a piece of wool and a piece of cheesecloth laid over top. There were some uh, strips of felt, coloured felt, pushed through from the back to give these colours and some hand stitching at the bottom. So let's get into it. So let's talk a little bit about um, the details of, of how this first started. Um, needle felting um, has been used a long time and it's just a needle that has burrs on it. And as you push fabrics together, the burrs blend the fabrics together so it, it uh, felts them. Um, so you can do it by hand, you can buy these needles, um, there's 10 in a, in a group together that you can do it by hand, or you can get a machine which is what we're going to use today. I have a baby lock and there's lots of companies do them, they're very simple machines, they don't, you don't, you have to use any thread and there's no program, so they're very inexpensive, simple machines, nothing can go wrong with them, they're great. Uh, my machine I think has eight needles. I also have um, a head that fits onto my regular sewing machine, my Bonina, and I think other companies are getting into that now too, but I know Bonina do one. So when I'm traveling, I can take this with me instead of two machines, so I've got options there. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the materials first before we get going. Um, I like to use a base of felt or wool um, because the felt accepts the needles really well and it doesn't break apart when you're doing a lot of needle punching on it and um, I, it's able to be dyed and you can color it. I like to do use a bright color at the base so that I can punch it through from the back if I need some more color. Then I use um, other fabrics to uh, blend into the felt. There's uh, embroidery thread, uh, more strips of felt, or open weave fabrics such as a linen or a cheesecloth. Again, I can paint these or dye them to start with. And these will blend into the felt really well and uh, soften the edges and uh, give us some more color. I also do some hand stitching onto the piece and then again, needle felt it, soften it, or have the hard stitches, um, whatever you want in your piece. Okay, so I've got a couple of pieces ready to go here. A piece of felt and a um, piece of open weave linen on top. So let's try push the colour through to the front. So we'll start this way. I won't be doing too much speaking whilst the machine's running. I just want to draw your attention to how freeing this is after using machines with threads for so long and then suddenly you 
can use the, a machine with no thread. There's no uh, threading up. It's just start, stop, start, stop. So here um, is the yellow uh, felt being pushed through to the front of the soft linen. And here's another piece that I've got uh, felt again, a nice bright color, some cheesecloth that's been uh, dyed, and a little bit of embroidery thread here. So let's let's embed the three of these together from the front this time. And there we have it, the uh, embroidery thread has now been fixed to the front and the cheesecloth as well. And uh, another way of, of embellishing together is um, you can actually put things in between and uh, use from the front or the back again, use the um, embellisher to push the color through that way or you can you know lay it on top so you get different effects different uh, ways of doing it you, you can experiment let's let's show you with the ribbon first on top and you've got lots of bright color because it's on top but then we've got the ribbon between the uh, linen and the felt, so let's try pushing from the back where the ribbon is. And so you can see it's much softer because we've got it between underneath the linen between the two pieces of fabric but you're still getting some of the color coming through so depending on if you want a hard line or a soft line you can experiment and then uh, what I like to do is use some hand stitching um, here's a, an example um, of what I do I often will use a black thread and just do a few stitches Again, I probably would be more careful in composing the piece than you see here, but uh, this is just for you to see how I, I do this. So there we've got a couple of hand stitches and I'll take it to the machine and soften some of the lines. So you can see here, this line is much softer now as opposed to the initial hand stitch there. So here's a little piece that we did um, whilst we were filming and um, just to make it look finished, I cut away the felt at the back a little bit and uh, frayed the edges and uh, it'll end up looking like this one. On the uh, on the mat board, it just softens the edges a little bit. Don't have to do that, but uh, I quite like it that way. And so, with our piece that we were working on before, I can do the same again here. I can cut the edge away. Save all your pieces; they work well on the next piece, and then start to fray the linen. So that you get a softer edge from the front. Now this piece isn't finished yet because it's not all embellished together but that's how you can start. So today we learned about needle felting and um, that we can do it by hand or machine and that there's lots of different fabrics that you can use to uh, blend together. You can use felt or wool, open weave, linens, cheesecloth, ribbon, embroidery floss. Um, in fact, you can experiment. I keep all of my little throwaway pieces and uh, use them 
to embed and uh, play with the embellishing machine. In fact, the first time I was introduced to um, an embellishing machine, I didn't think I would use it. But uh, gradually, I realized that it has a lot to offer. And, um, you know, often if you have a piece that you think is not working, don't throw it away. Um, you can bring it to the embellishing machine and play with it, add pieces, and it can suddenly make a piece work. So um, it's a great tool to have in your um in your back pocket, so to speak. You can make things work that maybe weren't working before with another technique. So if you have any questions about what you've seen today, um, I'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment, be comment below the video or um, contact me on Facebook or Twitter or go to my website. I'm going to leave some links of uh, different um, websites you can look at, different people that you can look at that have done a lot of machine embellishing. Uh, some of my links as well to my pieces, and um, I think you should try it. It's a great technique.